So everything is roughed in now for the plugs and the switch for the under counter uh, lighting which will be installed after we get the drywall up. There's the other plug. First piece of drywall. Now we're going to shut down the bottom and then the hole is gone. Well there we are, no more hole. Check kitchen it out. Look small. No, kitchen does not look small. Be nice, all the cabinets. We have the uppers already. We'll put them in uh, tomorrow. And uh, I actually got to do some plastering first. Cool. Mudding. Mudding. Mudding, mudding. mudding. Yes, mudding. Well, we got the cabinets back up. All the spacers, the new spacers that we put in that we cut with our new uh, table saw, which is what we needed desperately, are in. It was fantastic to push that middle one back into space. Now we're just adjusting uh, heights of shelves. Cabinets are up. Everything turned out perfect. The food's all back in. We've rearranged and made things a little bit smarter, shall we say. There we go, baby. Well, today we got the base cabinets in. Have to do the drawers tomorrow. What we have to do first is uh, get the pieces, the, uh, the trim that goes in in between. Follow it all the way along. Oh yeah, this is a beauty. And of course we've pulled up most of the floor. The new floor goes in on uh, Monday. Cool. The base cabinets have been properly installed, leveled. The side boards have been attached. The weight output on the side so it looks all nice and clean. So they're in there level, sitting on their legs, ready to go. We're just starting to put the cabinets together now. Well, the cabinets are in. Holy Jesus. All we got to do now is uh, put the door handles on. Everything's hung properly. Everything's beautiful. Everything is great. Well, as part of the reno, we had to get rid of the backsplash. Since the floors are going in Monday, today is Friday, we had to pull a backsplash out and the best way to do that is to take the drywall with it. So that's all pulled out now. So now uh, we can get the floors put in without worrying about taking the backsplash out and uh, you know making a mess of the floors. We still obviously have to drywall it before we can put up the backsplash. Okay we're getting ready for the new floor. Everything's been pulled out. The fridge is ready to go. It's all cleaned out. The floors have all been removed. Had to pull out the, the washer. The stove is, is out. Uh, we pulled out the backsplash, which meant taking out the drywall as well. So it was right down to the studs. And uh, we've replaced the drywall. So that uh, we'll be ready to put up the, uh, the uh, new backsplash as soon as the new counter comes in. Well, the floor is in. It did a beautiful job. Even cut underneath. Beautiful. So finished. Yeah. Well, the new counter's in. Very nice. Everything is coming together nicely. The baseboards are all cut and painted. They'll go in today as soon as we put some paint on to the uh, under the walls. Floor is obviously in. The backsplash area is all ready to be splashed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, everything's taped up. Took half a day to tape everything up so that we can do all the painting. A lot of work. So the painting is all done. All the way around it's a very light, light, light cream yellow. Of course that's where the backsplash will be so uh, it is only got primer on it. I've come a long way today. The baseboards are in. Still got to put the white stuff to seal up the edges. Counters in. Backsplash is coming next. Starting to look a little bit like home now. The transitions at the doors. Nice. Come a long way. Oh my god. Still got to do that hole in the ceiling. <laughs> Now we've got to put the um, the piece along the floor underneath the counters. Kickboards, Kickboards yeah, and a little one over there. And uh, black when the backsplash goes in, then I'll put the piece along the bottom 
and we get the fellow to come in and uh, do the under counter lighting and replace the existing under counter lighting here so that the light values will match otherwise one will be brighter than the other or a different color of white that kind of thing well the kitchen's almost done this is phase two this is the other side of the wall of that east side kitchen that was the hole that was in the wall before that we have since uh, filled in on the other side and uh, now we're going to close this baby off with brand new drywall okay the wall in the sunroom has been filled in see the blue tape where the studs are where we can put screws in to hold it in place now we've got to tape it and uh, mud, it. mud it all and then uh, we paint can paint it. the baby yeah okay the wall is uh, properly been plastered and taped and mudded and scraped down and mudded and scraped down and uh, tomorrow Judy's gonna start the painting well the backsplash is in oh it's just gorgeous he does such a fabulous job the way he connects in the center it almost looks 3d it's like the tile has a bend in it does a fantastic job oh my goodness and he'll do the grout in the morning and then the under counter lighting goes in there okay Judy's room is done now everything is put back though in a different spot the uh, computer is now sitting against the new wall brand spanking new okay she's all done beautiful tile or backsplash I should say even put a piece in on the side so there's not a, a gap there Judy's going to make the curtains there's the new cabinets down below kickboards the new backsplash over here this used to be a hole in the wall with a view downstairs into the uh, sunroom Okay, here's the final product. Everything's in, everything is done. We took the beams down off the ceiling, filled that hole where the original light was. All new backsplash. New floor. That's a Torley's, T-O-R-L-Y-S, luxury vinyl uh, tile. Waterproof, obviously, yes. Good for a kitchen. There's the whole new end. And you can see the under cabinet lighting. Beautiful. And this is Judy's sunroom, all finished and done. We just got that uh, original full cart painting there on the, the past weekend to fill that space. Beautiful color, it goes great. Her desk used to be over here, now it's against that wall, which makes the room look a whole lot bigger.